Hi everyone, how are you? I think I'm finally ready to show you part two of my light fast pen test on canvas. Um, the beginning of February, I had um, taken out all my pens and wrote on, on a canvas board all the different types of pens to check them for a couple of things. One was to see how easy they were to write on canvas. Canvas has um, you know, quite a texture to it and many of them did not pass the test. However, I was also worried about light fastness. Some people were in our group were talking about you know, um, tangling on other objects um, and so not using a micron they wanted to use sharpies or some other pen and um, we were having a big discussion as to um, what pens would be best especially if the item was going to be um, outdoors there was somebody in one of my groups who um, was actually doing an art project for their town they were having a um, it was really cool they the town had these benches these like park benches made um, and gave them to local artists and each artist was to decorate them and then they were going to be displayed throughout the city and um, you know she wanted to know what should she use should she use sharpie should she use something else um, I don't remember what she ended up using I believe she just ended up using sharpies but um, or maybe it was oil paint pens I'm not I'm not a not 100% sure what she ended up using. However, it's a cool project. But I that inspired me to do this test to see how different pens would react, not just to the rough surface, but to also um, fading. I find this to be the most interesting is, and I, I want to make sure, so you can see I'm going to zoom in just a little bit and I'll just move it around as I go um, the sharpie one that is called extreme fade fade resist was the absolute worst one in my test just totally look at that so what I'm going to do is I'm going to right now um, I need to move my camera back just a little bit so I can adjust my canvas. Um, I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to write a new line using each one of these pens so you can see what it looks like when it's um, fresh and compare it to uh, the stuff that's been like four months out in the sun. Okay, so there's the Sharpie line point. I'm still too far back. Let me adjust my camera one more time. Ah, wait a minute. I'm attached to my light cord. That's not good. I want my light on my page so you guys can see. Can I? No. Sorry, I didn't plan this out well enough. Let me scoot it up a little bit. Okay stay oh that's better okay you can see I'm put the light on it okay there's the sharpie fine point <clears throat> it didn't fade as much as I thought it would fade however that's what it should look like ah you can't see that let me move my light there you go so it, it did fade a little. Um, you might not be able to tell on the camera because cameras are one of those funky things that need just the right light. But I don't know if you can tell, but that is much darker than that. So it did fade. <clears throat> now the fade resist one, believe it or not, that's what it started out as. Look at that. That's crazy. So, you know, take it with a grain of salt. This this is the one. This is what it looks like. Sharpie Extreme Fade Resist. I would have assumed that it would have worked better and lasted longer 
than their standard Sharpie. The other one was just a standard Sharpie fine point like this. And it, it's starting to fade. I think if I left it out in the sun longer and maybe I will we'll continue this um, for a little bit longer, but I had to take the canvas out of my vehicle because I was getting my car worked on and I wanted to get it out. So maybe I will, you know, throw it back in and, and, and do it for another six months or something. But there you go. That's that. Okay, so the Cop Copic Multiliner. It's hard to tell if it did or didn't do anything because it was it, it was hard to write on the canvas. It doesn't look like the color changed. It's just really hard to write on the canvas. So, you know, that one's kind of out. But I don't think the color actually changed. Um, this Zig pen um, did fade. But it also is one of those ones that was hard to draw on the canvas, but it did fade. Um, where was I? I'm here. Okay. So the next one was this Bic uh, Market. It's a fine point permanent marker. And so far, it does not look like it's fading. Um, it is a darker color on my page than the Sharpie. And I believe they started out similarly black um i don't know if you can tell me zoom back out just a tad so you can see them both in the same frame there can you tell this one's just a little bit grayer than this one so this one did start to fade this one does not look like it has started to fade um the next one is a caliber gel pen it's just a cheap uh, oops that's not the caliber one this is the Caliber one. Cali it's Caliber, which is the CVS brand gel pen, just a cheap pen from the drugstore. And it has faded quite a bit. That's, that's, that's the line there that has faded quite a bit. Um, the next one is a Stabilo sensor. Um, looks like this, in case you want to see it. There we go. And let's see what it did. It has faded significantly. Look at that. That's, I wish, I wish I had better light over here. I really do. The, it's hard to tell. Let me zoom in. Let's see if I can get the light there. Let's see, those, those faded quite a bit. There's the fresh mark and there's where I wrote on it four months ago. Yeah. Now this Pilot Drawing Pen in oil, which looks like this. And this one was, uh, I got this from Jet Pens. Um, yeah, it hasn't, it hasn't changed at all. Just like the Big Market, it hasn't changed in color. Now this Roto Ring Tiki Graphic Pen has changed quite a bit. It's it's gray, it's turning gray. Um, the Pilot one instead of being oil based, it's a, a water based one. has also grayed out quite a bit and and it seemed to have smeared just a little bit in my just everyday handling of, of this canvas. I was throwing it up onto my dashboard and then taking it down when I was driving and then I throw it back up when I was parked and and so you know it's gotten a, a bit of abuse. Um, the Le Pen drawing pen is the one I'm currently using to draw my tangles and it does look like it has faded a little bit. The UniPen Pro also has faded a little. Um, the Stettler Pigment Liner Go over here. 
Um, looks about the same, actually. It just doesn't draw very well on the on the canvas, but the color hasn't really changed much. So that's good to know. The Sharpie pen. This is just Sharpie regular pen, this one, instead of uh, the marker kind. Um, it was bad on the canvas because it, it didn't go down into the texture. It has uh, faded a little bit, but it also didn't with, withstand the uh, rigors of me just grabbing it and, and tossing it up and down onto the dashboard, and it has smeared quite a bit. So that, that one's not, I wouldn't use that for canvas at any stage. The Micron pen had a really hard time drawing on this canvas. It doesn't look like the color has really changed, but it's just really hard to draw on the canvas with the Micron pen. And I have this feeling it's going to be the same for the decorees. I got to get that started. Decorees is one of those ones that's kind of like a paint pen. So I got to get it started, get the flow going before I can. Yeah, the color doesn't seem to have changed, but it's just really hard to draw on the on the canvas with it. So that's that's my results. Uh, what I have so far, anyway, of of this. But you know, I find it just fascinating that this one just doesn't going to cut it. No, not in went any way, shape, or form. If I was to do be doing a fine point drawing on canvas that may end up getting uh, needing to have be light fast, um, this would be this pilot drawing pen in oil would be my pen of choice. Um, this one's too thick for me, although it was working. And I don't know if they make if Bic makes a. Uh, market pen in a thinner tip. This was the big one, but that one's working pretty well. Um, most of the rest of them have faded just a bit. So anyway, I thought you guys would like an update on that. I, I may stick this back in my dashboard after my car comes back from the shop and, um, you know, leave it for for another six months or whatever a whole year I don't know and and just see how how they go but I just thought I would give you guys an update I had time to do that and um, so yeah I hope everybody is doing well you guys have a great day go out and do something nice for someone today and I will see you later bye